hello guys good morning welcome to the vlog i have got half a face of makeup on not sure why i've started to vlog now but today is another week this week is going to be really exciting it's very very busy today is kind of like the most chill day of the week it should be okay i am going to film a drive with me with dad we've just spontaneously decided to do that today i think i need to film a video for wednesday i'm thinking maybe like an outfit video but woke up today and it's snowy and icy which is rather annoying um it's april it's literally like the second of april why is it snowing um but either way and then on the 4th of april it's my dad's birthday on the 5th of april it's my brother's birthday um and then on the 5th of april and the 6th of april i'm in birmingham and london don't know if i can tell you exactly what that's about yet i will email the people involved and ask them but i'll vlog the day and just be really sneaky even if even if i'm not allowed to say the exact name i will still take you along for the ride it's a youtube related thing so it's it's through my channel i guess and i'm very proud of myself for arranging it all because i don't have a manager oh my god stop so yeah i don't have a manager which means i have to arrange all like the businessy stuff myself and i've done that so far and so far touch wood it's going all right so yeah i am gonna go and be brave i'm gonna go to two jobs all by my lonesome um hopefully it will go really well the girls i've been talking to are really really lovely so yeah it's a, a nerve-wracking but exciting week so yeah i've got a lot on still got a lot of work to do i'm very very stressed i had a bit of a meltdown this morning bit of an internal meltdown like i was just sat staring at my laptop and my laptop wasn't playing it was just being annoying and then i just had no motivation so i've now decided to just kind of leave my work to one side for a little bit go out film the video have a bit of fresh air um and then come back to my work later on with a bit of a fresh head i've i think i've it's just the problem of being a creative person i'm just doubting all my own work and i want to start again from scratch i feel like my work is absolutely rubbish and i'm just doubting it all i feel like i'm gonna fail and i know the likelihood is that i'm not gonna fail but I don't know i've always been my world's my world's worst critic so i can't help myself but yeah i'm gonna continue putting my makeup on um and then i'll probably talk to you when i've been out with my dad i guess <laughs> i'm ready me and dad are gonna film dad's a bit worried i think because he's not actually watched the other one <laughs> we've not let him watch the other one right so we filmed the drive with me it was so foggy like it was not the most safe driving conditions in the world. Um, but I'm gonna quickly go to Tesco because I need to buy my dad a birthday card. It's been decided that we're going to York tomorrow. His birthday is actually on Wednesday, but I'm gonna take him to York. I've just booked the train tickets. We're gonna go and look at York Museum. He'll really like that. Um, so me and dad are going on a daddy daughter day out because me and mum did one to Newcastle as you guys know so we're going to do a dad's one. Um, so I need to go and buy him a card because I completely forgot because I am a bad daughter. Um, and then I'm going to give him the card tonight but not tell him where we're going until... I'm going to see how long I can keep it going you know. I'm just going to tell him we're going somewhere and then when we get on the train we'll see if he figures it out. So um, it'll be interesting. So I'm going to get in my car. It's still raining, it's still gross outside. But let's grab my car keys. Look at my keys, by the way. I don't think I've ever shown you my car keys. I've had this little mini mouse on it for ages, like ever since I had this car, pretty much. I think my mum bought me this as like a little love gift. So when I get myself a new car, which hopefully won't be too far away, I'll be putting that on there. But yeah, I'm looking into getting a new car. Um, not too soon maybe in like the next couple of months like hopefully at some point this year it might be towards the end of the year um because originally let's put you somewhere so i can talk to you whilst i'm putting my shoes on because originally sally my car that i have now um was only going to be for kind of like maybe a year or two um i bought that car three years ago now three and a half years ago and it was kind of just like a small little run around first car um and i was always planning on only keeping it for only a couple of years and saving up to get like a, a nicer car but that didn't happen i decided to go to uni instead which meant obviously money was going towards uni and living because i don't get much loan which is annoying so yeah i was like basically putting my entire earnings into uni rather than saving it so 
yeah now I'm about to finish uni it means I can kind of redirect the money that I'm getting and save that so I am thinking about buying a new car which is very exciting I've got a car in mind that I want I'm not 100% sure I really like the looks of Ford Fiestas like the newer ones so I might look into that but yeah I just it's it's exciting so maybe like by the time I graduate I'll have a new car we'll see I do love my car she's treated me well I wonder if would you guys like to see like a car tour of the car I have now because I've always been quite conscious of showing it because like once upon a time three years ago um a viewer actually spotted me in my car and kind of followed me um like drove really close to me and scared me so I've not ever really shown my car since then obviously you guys know I've got a Corsa but I just I've always been really wary of it but I mean if I'm getting rid of that car I'd be happy to do a little car tour because Corsas are such good little first cars like Sally has treated me so well and I feel like if you're looking for a first car and you're not really sure what to get I think a Corsa is really good because it is small it's easy to park it's handy to get the hang of my friend molly beauty spectrum she also had a corsa i think they're just a really good first car so maybe you'll like a tour of them because i think i'm going to do a tour of the new one we'll see how i feel about that when i get it but i don't know i feel like corsas need shouting about a little bit i mean it's a very old car it was made in 2002 so it's it's an old bird it's an old little car but they are really good so <laughs> let me know that was a very long-winded way of me asking you if you want a video but ugh, i'm gonna stop this vlog this week is gonna end up very very long apologies in advance i hopefully have cut it down a little bit by the time you guys see can we just take note of how ignorant this van driver is whoever you are look at that just stuck out in the middle of the road what a knob <laughs> So I might have accidentally tripped and bought three Easter eggs because they were on offer because it's clearly after Easter and I've left my parents a little note. The cream egg one is mine. That's dad's and then mum's got the Maltese one. Um, so I've relocated my office to the conservatory and I'm sat waiting for my parents to come home. <laughs> and happy birthday. Thank you. It's not today. I don't care. Read it out. You may be wondering why I am two days early. Well, it's a surprise. Be dressed and ready to leave at 9.30am tomorrow. Lots of love, Alice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I also bought you some socks. I don't know why. There you go. <laughs> I couldn't bother to wrap them. <laughs> Keeps your feet warm. That's a that's a, a clue for our adventure. How do I have to dress? Like that. We'll dress you. Right. Thank you. We're not decorating tomorrow. No. Then. You can do wallpaper then. Where <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're not going to do wallpaper. No. <laughs> Hello guys. Good morning. So I'm in the car. We've got mum and dad in the front. Mum's being a taxi. Dad doesn't know where he's going. And we're going on the adventure that I've told you guys about. Um, Dad doesn't know yet, so we'll see. We'll see. I've been winding him up all night. He's needed, what's he needed? Football boots and an overnight bag. He's needed loads of stuff, hasn't he, Mum? Passport. Passport. <laughs> because, and apparently he's not slept very well because he's been worried <laughs> and overthinking what's going on. Any other person would just be excited, but not my dad. Not my dad. <laughs> Where are we going? Go we ask you. You? I don't know where I'm going. I have a rough idea where you're taking me now. Where then? Train station. Well, that's that's clue number one. Well done. Now you've got the whole other country to choose from. Exactly. <laughs> At the station. And he still doesn't know where he's going. I've already checked the platform. He you knows so we're coming to the station, clearly. I'm just double checking the platform. And then I'm going to work out if he knows what I'm on about. Yeah, the platform's still the same. Did you do? <laughs> You're not very good with surprises, are you, Dad? Tell me. <laughs> All he's got as a clue is what's on that sign, and it's wrong because that's not our train. <laughs> he keeps fidgeting. You've not worked it out yet, have you? No. <laughs> it's because it's not the right train on the board. 
That's the train before ours. I think ours is going to be late actually. I can see where we're going on my phone. <laughs> There's a train pulling up and he thinks it's ours, but it's not. I'm going to let him think he's getting on it. What? This is not ours. You're kidding. <laughs> Are you winding me up? I'm not winding you up. Who are you? you. <laughs> So close, all at the same time. so close to finding out, but so far. You keep swearing. <laughs> swearing at me. Edit that out. <laughs> In fact, no, don't. <laughs> Train number two to pull up on this line. I'm going to walk towards it, see if Dad follows me. <laughs> Look at his face. What? Okay, okay. Thank <laughs> God for that, I don't like Scunthorpe. <laughs> he was trying not to look really ungrateful then by taking him to Scunthorpe. I think the people working on the platform think we're dodgy because I've walked up and down this platform four times now just to annoy Dad. <laughs> but this is actually our train. Look at him, he's all excited. I'm actually letting you get on this one, Dad. <laughs> not going to jump up and leave you, are you? <laughs> yeah, that's the joke. Bye. You can't read that, can you? <laughs> I've taken them out. You tried. Did you see it? I think so. York. Mm. Yeah. You went to York? Yeah. <laughs> you finally guessed. You feel better now? Yeah. <laughs> We've arrived in York. Dad's a lot happier now he knows that we're I know where in I York. Yeah, you know where you are. He doesn't yet know where we're going. Because I thought I'm just going to continue to be annoying and not tell him. So. I'm doing. That is the kind of dairy milk box I need in my life. Look how big it is. Dad's just said that he had one of these kind of bikes when he was little. It was the best bike in the neighbourhood. And look, Paddington Bear. <laughs> Dad's going round going, I had one of them when I were a young'un. I had one of them. Mum, did you write this? I remember this bit. This is the bit I remember from when I was little. Look, it's like a little street. If anyone's been to York, you'll probably know this place. This section's for you, Jade. It's the horsey section. Oh, it smells weird in here. Why does it smell like we? Why does it smell like we? Was this meant to happen or has someone peed themselves? Look, almost us. Just had an E. There we are. We've also found out that that smell of wee was purposely done. <laughs> but my camera died as we were working it out. It's gone dark. All the lights have turned off. Help. <laughs> Dad's put a coin in this. I've been done. Oh, oh, there we go. What's happening? Watch. Oh, this is a bit brutal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that was worth 20p. Kyle, Dad's told me to go through here. It's a trench. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Dad, why am I doing this? Dad, you can see me through the window. Hello. I can shoot you through this window. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, there's a rat. Yeah. It's like being jungle. I feel like I am doing it. We stuck a trial. <laughs> it's downhill. Oh, and my knees aren't made for this. <laughs> Duh. Right. Okay, we've come to the prison. It's really creepy down here. I'm a bit of a loss. I don't really like it. There was a room that wasn't lit, and there's a man shouting at us. Oh, this one's got. Oh, no, yeah. He's talking to me. I'm gonna lock you in. I can't even see you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Can 
Can I close this door? Can I lock you in? Bye. <laughs> we've just we've just come out from uh, eating food. We went to a posh um, Brazilian place. I will put a photo on screen. It was so good. Are you very happy now? Oh yeah, happy and full. Happy and full. That's the way to uh, cheer him up. Um, it started raining, which is a bit annoying. But we're going to go to the railway museum because it's near the railway and it's free. I'm done with treating you for today now, that's it. My bank account is saying no more. I'm, I'm surprised they have blocked me actually. I don't usually spend this much I'm money. Worthy, You're alright. Hello my loves. Wow that lighting though. So today's been a long day. I've not spoken to you since I think we were still in York. We got back at like half four maybe five-ish and then we came home i instantly got in the bath for like an hour because i was so tired we've done so much walking today but it's been so nice dad has really enjoyed himself so yeah i went in the bath dad watched football and i have now been sat in my comfortable office it's not my office it's the conservatory my temporary office um just doing some more uni work story of my life i am making progress though i'm feeling kind of okay about the progress i've made I'm gonna stop now, it's currently about half 11 at night. My parents have gone to bed, they left the TV on for background noise, but I am done. This is me done for the day. So yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. I'm now in Birmingham, been here for a while. Just had a big meeting with the team. Hey! <laughs> Some of the guys aren't here now, but we've had a lot of good discussions. It's been very exciting, a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, you'll have seen a little bit, I've filmed a few little clips, but yeah, funnily enough, Luke has been here the whole time. Yes. And Luke actually goes to uni at Lincoln. We do, I've been in one of Alice's videos before. Yes. Try and find the video. <laughs> That'll be a good view if they know. Yeah. Yes. So um, yeah, me and Luke are working together with Glide, and it's going to be a really, really cool campaign. And look at this view. Look at it. Can you see it? What an amazing office. So yeah, lots of exciting things discussed. Oh, this is perfect vlog lighting. I'm enjoying this. Look at the vlog lighting. Oh no, this is 3 a.m. <laughs> start. No, no. Yeah, Luke's been up since 3 a.m. I was up at half five and I thought that was bad, but yeah, it's been so, so interesting. Glide is such a, an amazing company to be working with. Feeling very, very lucky right now. So yeah, I think we're gonna go out for lunch and play golf, apparently, so that'll be fun. Luke's off now anyway, so Bye. see you later. Okay, so we're going on a tour of the office. Hello. This is Tara. That's right, isn't it? It is, yeah, yep. Tara. I'm so bad with names, it's actually a problem. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm really bad with names. <laughs> so we've had a lovely introduction to Guide, and I'm gonna, just gonna show you guys what's going on. So for the future kind of collaboration, you guys know the behind the scenes. So this is our credit control team. So they look after all the money coming into the business. Oh, today. money in and out. These are the money guys. But Tom over here. Hi, Hi Tom. Tom. <laughs> Keen to be on the vlog. <laughs> And then we've got a whole different, I think, is each desk different kind of department? Yeah, so we divide it into each department. So we've got, mm -hmm. control, we've got a billing, billing service processing teams. Ah. Um, and then that moves into like account management, marketing and sales. Nice. So we're all strategically placed. Oh my gosh, you've got a thing. I went, oh yeah. You're getting that wow. <laughs> How did I not notice that the first time? <laughs> it's embarrassing. That's so funny. <laughs> Look at these. I'm just enjoying, as a graphic design student, I'm enjoying... Hey, this will all be changing soon. Yeah, they're going on a big rebrand, which is, it looks cool, seeing sneak previews. Yes, yeah. it's like times for it is. it is. 
and this is where oh they have a ping pong things. table i'm so bad at ping pong <laughs> i try and be good i pretend that i'm good and make my own rules up um i think the bats of, need to be bigger <laughs> i think they i think we need to improve the bats yeah. maybe the table to be bigger as well yeah maybe if i can put a little barrier so it doesn't go off the side so it makes me no better <laughs> basically yeah. we're just rubbish at ping pong <laughs> i think so <laughs> i yeah. think we're better at golf we're going golf I later think so. i'm quite competitive yeah so. i'm so bad at yeah. golf but if i don't win i'll be very upset <laughs> I won't be. <laughs> They've got a customer service team over here. Yeah. Customer service are literally there to kind of answer the phones, any queries, mm -hmm. and to look after our customers, making sure all kind of queries, questions are answered, especially if you're unsure about something. Um, These guys are so nice. We were sat talking to Chloe earlier. Chloe amongst the other ones, she's hiding. <laughs> iconic. <laughs> She's embarrassed, but she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> We've requested you for the video. Yeah. In there yeah. is your iconic Chloe, so... Your name is on one of the boards in there. <laughs> yeah, your name is on one of the boards, so... <laughs> so we, when we first came in, we got introduced to this. Ta-da! A golden pineapple, look at the photos. So it's not your ordinary employee the month, it's yeah. a golden pineapple. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this place. Um, this is golf. What? Why have I never been to a place like this before? Are you ready to play golf? I am indeed. <laughs> this looks so cool. I can't guarantee I'm going to be very good at the golf part of this. <laughs> but it looks nice. <laughs> We've got cocktails. I'm very happy about this. It's got actual fruit in it. Which one did you get? I just had Jack Daniels. Good choice, classic. Jack Daniels Yeah, classic. Look at all the cocktails. They're all really like the banky ones. Bad manting. <laughs> I love it. We've got Courtney stepping up to the mark. No pressure, but I'm filming you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That was so good. We are now in a bus. In a bus. <laughs> in a, oh, it's my accent, isn't it? We're in a. How do you say it? Bus. 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 <laughs> I'm the northern one here. The hole is there, and there's some here. Yeah. So you can either go down the stairs or go in there. It doesn't want to. Started well, badly. Okay, so we're, we're in. Yeah, Courtney's just done it. And we're in like a video store set up. So there's like shelves. And the hall is there. We start around this corner. There we go. And apparently it's scary around this corner. Uber to go to Jamie's Italian. I think that was a success, wasn't it? 
Yes. Yeah. We still don't know the scores. What's the winner gonna get? I don't know. Um, love, Garlic admiration. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Love and admiration as well. <laughs> Pride. Pride for winning. <laughs> We're in Jamie's Italian. I've got the special spaghetti. I don't know what it is. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> That was good timing for the cheese edition. Look at our meals. We're all very hungry and very excited, aren't we? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> okay, we've just finished the meal and Terry's just added up the scores. And I came first. I don't think I've ever won a crazy goal. Well done, guys. Look. I've come to London, got here safe, didn't get lost. Um, I've been sat in this office for a while. I'm here with Ancho. Hello. Hello. We're just setting up our little filming setup. Look yeah. at this camera. I'm very jealous. <laughs> Looks so good. I'll it leave. Just as good. Yeah, mine's like my little vlog camera, but it is, it is a great little good. vlog yeah, camera. Yeah. We were both talking like cameras earlier, weren't we? I know. We were getting really techy. We were. Yeah. <laughs> we were nerding out a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, we're just setting this up. I've got my microphone. I'm just going to turn all that on. We're going to film this video. I'm very excited. Um, everyone's so lovely. It's been nice just to have a chat, you know? So I'm going to get this done and then I'm pretty much going to jump on the train and go home and probably sleep for about six hours. Okay, filming is done. We've had a very good productive day, haven't we? Yeah, it's been good. Yes, now all we want in our lives is some food. Food! I'm so ready for food. We've been planning it while we were filming. My stomach was rumbling, guys. <laughs> yeah, you'll hear it. Yeah, my stomach rumbles. <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing. Yeah. yeah, we were literally planning it in between the outtakes. Ooh, what are we going to get for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, a girl after my own heart, I love yeah. it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get back to the station, I think, get myself some food because it's just needed. It's just really needed. It's yeah. been a good day though. So yeah. yes, I will speak to you guys probably when I'm back home now. So see you then. I'm not gonna show my face because today is Saturday. Um, still in my pajamas, feeling a bit rough, a bit ill, a bit stressed, you know. It's been an amazing week though. I've just edited the vlog. And I'm so happy with how this has turned out so far. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. But today I am sat doing work. I've got Zoe's New York vlog on because I'm so behind. And I'm going to put a new screen protector on um, my iPad because I had one on it right from the start. Oh, I've just shown my ugliness. Let's reverse. Um, and it's got a scratch down it. I don't know. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Can you see it? Um, and in the what's on my iPod video loads of you guys saw the scratch and thought it was on the actual screen It's on the screen protector. I'm still not quite sure how this happened because I've tread this thing the like I don't know <laughs> just I Treat this like a child like an actual child. So um, I don't know how I did that but I'm gonna change the screen protector I always hate pulling the glass ones off because they smash as you pull them out And I'm a bit scared. Please don't break. Please don't break uh... But yeah, that's what I'm doing, changing this, sorting my life out, still doing loads of uni work. <gasps> it's not smashed yet. Oh my god, yeah, can you see that crack on it? I don't know how I did that. I really do not know how I did that, but we're going to change it, we're going to protect it, and I'm going to continue drawing my children's book. That is the plan for today. Is this not the most satisfying thing ever? I'm looking a bit weird. I've got bare minimum makeup on. Um, I've only got, I've only bought, I've only got um, mascara on my top lashes because 
bit of a semi-spontaneous decision to go and test drive a car today. Um, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I'm thinking about getting a new car. Um, so there is a car in, a, in the same make um, in the garage that we like to get cars from. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but we know them, like friends of the family kind of garage. Um, and they've got one in that's an automatic in the kind of style I like. So I'm going to go and test drive that just to kind of see whether it is definitely the car that I want. Um, it's not going to be the car that I get because it is, the engine's too big so the insurance is really high. I rang my insurance this morning and it's stupid so um, it's not going to be the car. Um, I'm not going to get it yet but I just want to see that car, see what it's like to drive. It's going to be very weird because I'm used to driving like a very little, what I call a tin can car um, and this is going to be like a proper car. So we're going to go and test drive it, me and my dad are going to go, we're going to tell the garage what kind of car I'm looking for so when they um, are looking around to buy cars for their like stock I guess they can keep an eye out for the one that I want so yeah it's a bit exciting, I'm not going to take you with me obviously because it'll be a bit weird um, but that is that is the plan for today and I actually just got a delivery of shoes for the blog awards um, so I'm just bedding them in a little bit, they're just yellow from New Look um, and I've got a yellow clutch bag. I ordered two because I didn't know which one would match, but it's this one because this one's too like mustard coloured. So yeah, I think the the blog awards outfit is getting there. My room's a bit of a mess. I've got dry shampoo in my hair. My life's just a bit of a mess, but yeah, I'm gonna go test drive a car. Not in these shoes though, imagine. Imagine if I rolled up like this, like, hi, I'm just gonna test drive a car. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm in exactly the same place that I was when I last spoke to you, but I've just got back from test driving the car. I'm really cold, so I've put my uh, Mickey Mouse dressing gown on. Or Minnie Mouse, look. I love this dressing gown. Um, but yeah, love the car. It felt so weird driving a bigger car because obviously the one I have now is quite small. Um, but the garage, the guy there, he like vaguely knows us because I bought my old car from there and he literally let me and my dad go and test drive the car without him so we could have just driven it away. Obviously we weren't going to do that but I was like, you are very trustworthy of us. I was expecting him to like want my phone or like my purse or something for like that I'd have to go back for, you know, but he didn't. He just let me drive it off and yeah, so love the car. I keep saying to my parents it felt like a big girl car, I felt like sturdy in it, it felt like a proper adult car um, because obviously my Corsa just feels like a little first kind of car. It's an amazing car my little Corsa but yeah definitely like the Ford Fiestas. Um, he's going to look out for one that is to my specification, I need something that will be a little bit cheaper to insure so he's going to keep an eye out for one that comes on the market basically but I'm very excited, um, hopefully it won't be too long or too soon because I mean if he rings me next week with one I'll be like mm, I don't have that kind of money yet but if he rings me in like a month or two then I'll be like yeah let's go because I'll have had a chance to save from uni so yeah it's exciting so I will be selling my automatic Corsa um, in the near future so I don't know if you live near Doncaster and know someone who might want an automatic little first car I'm thinking around like 500, 600 pounds it's worth, so pass it on. Um, it is in the, it's not got a date as to when I'll be getting rid of it because I'll obviously need to use it until then, but it's an amazing little first car. It'll be really cheap, cheap to run. She's a she's a good little car, is Sally, so if you know anyone who might be interested, do let me know um, because I'd like it to go to a, a nice loving home <laughs> rather than just another garage, you know. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog now because I'm not doing anything interesting. I am going to edit the rest of this vlog, I'm going to eat um, our dinner which is steak and chips, I'm very excited. And then I'm going to continue doing university work. <laughs> it won't be long until I don't ever say that again and I'm sure I'll end up missing it at some point but for now I'm so ready to not have any university work to do. But I am already planning exciting things in terms of like my channel and like my career and stuff like that so watch this space, make sure you're subscribed and um, yeah let me know if you got to the end of the vlog, I'd really appreciate if you did, comment down below even if you're a silent vlo vloer, viewer please do comment. I love seeing your guys' faces and usernames and it just makes it a whole lot more interactive and lovely for me. So please do and I will see you on Friday with another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!